Hi, I'm Tom Donnelly, Director of the Center for Defense Studies here at AEI. I want to talk to you briefly about why U.S. defense spending should not be cut and why military strength is a key component of U.S. fiscal and political strength in the world. The Israeli said there are lies, damned lies, and statistics. And in doing that, he was probably talking about defense spending even though it was a century ago. Most people think that the Department of Defense has been on a shopping spree, spending a gusher of American taxpayers' money for the past decade. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth. Even accounting for war spending on Afghanistan and Iraq, U.S. defense spending accounts for less than 5% of overall gross domestic product. That's about the third the cost of entitlements and an historically low level. I want to repeat that that's both war costs and the costs of the baseline defense budget. Yet in these fiscally difficult times, both those on the left and some on the right are looking to put defense spending on the table in reducing government spending. But that would be both monetarily and fiscally imprudent, and it wouldn't save that much money. Again, the size of the U.S. defense budget is only half the deficit. So if you eliminated the Pentagon entirely, you'd still have a federal deficit this year of more than $700 billion. But more important, it would really undercut the role that the United States plays in the world. American soldiers and Marines and sailors and airmen are deployed a lot and fighting a lot and dying, unfortunately, too frequently in Iraq and Afghanistan still. But the role that the United States plays in guaranteeing stability, freedom, and free commerce around the world is something the world can't live without. And as a value proposition, that is, the return we get on our investment, we get a huge amount for a very small price. So this year, when the Congress convenes to try to constrain the size of the U.S. government and put our fiscal house in order, they're going to have to make choices, not only about the size of government, but about what government does. It's really important that conservatives, remembering that American strength is both vital to our safety here at home, but also to the safety of the rest of the world, remember that the job that U.S. forces do abroad is as important to protecting us here at home, to protecting our prosperity and our lives, as it is to protecting the American homeland. It's important, too, that conservatives rally in the coming months to remind Republican politicians that this is a core principle that goes back to the Reagan years. AEI has joined with the Heritage Foundation and the Foreign Policy Institute in a project that we call Defending Defense, trying to make this point about the vitality of American power and the need for sufficient defense spending and for sufficient military strength now and for the future. For us here at the Center for Defense Studies, this is a key issue for us, if not the key issue for the coming year. The Defending Defense Project is our number one priority, and we'll be doing informational videos and releasing reports on a regular basis in 2011.